Hello and welcome to another episode of my F123 My Team Career Mode. Here today for part 6 for the British Grand Prix, where it is raining, of course, it is typical British summertime. So let's go to qualifying. But before we were able to go and qualify, we had an issue with the engine. But luckily, that got sorted out, and the rain is meant to stop. And the track is pretty wet, but we're still here on dry tyres and very, very tricky conditions then. Could all come down to one mega lap. As Lewis Hamilton does a good thing and gets out of our way, didn't we? Like that early on. And now as we come towards the end of the lap, into the Veil chicane and up to the final corner of the club, we are skating everywhere. And we come up to the line, we cross the line, and it's provisional pole position. And they decided to go again, because these are the conditions where you just need to carry on pounding round. But, you can see that by the time, we nearly a second down. So, that was that for the, new, the time being. We crossed the line to finish that lap. And Lewis Hamilton puts it on pole. But towards the end of this session, and we went out a bit earlier, the rain has stopped, the track has dried, and we are going for it then. Purple set to one, personal pet set to two, Fittipaldi puts it on pole, and we are going to put it on pole, and it is a one-two for us, end qualifying there, red flag it, we don't need to do the rest, but I decided a strong takes pole. These are the conditions where you just need to carry on going around. So we lifted off, recharged the battery, went again. As we go through the first two corners, I'm very happy, free farm into the village and the loop. And we've gone purple in the first two sectors, but we get to the village again. And Max Verstappen and Perez decide to park it. And we've lost a little bit of time, but we've still actually gained a bit as well. And it's purple in all three sectors. And another provisional pole position, but unfortunately that was it. Everyone else took with the lap times, and that was our qualifying done. And we're going to start P16. The home of British motorsport and the birthplace of the Formula One World Championship. It's race day here at Silverstone, and it's time for the British Grand Prix. Silverstone circuit is comprised of 18 corners, 3.6 miles, with DRS detection zones at Village and Maggots. You're overtaking opportunities at the end of the world throttle in order to succeed here. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc, Perez, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Russell, Norris, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Albert, Gasly, Oscar Piastri, Joe, Ocon, Brown, Sonoda, Sargent, Bottas, Stroll, Fittipaldi, Stroll. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Let's talk about Brown. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. So, strategy then. Starting on the softs, going to the medium, straightforward. We're not, really, we're not doing this medium to hard business if we don't have to. So, soft to medium is our strategy for today we can pretty much only go forward we're starting 16th as we come up to line on the grid now and i think unlike canada we might struggle to get points today but we'll see we'll see what start we get as we massively miss time to start in grid as here we go then five red lights go out and the british grand prix is go and once again we've got a lightning start we're going to try and go to the outside. We're bouncing over the grass. We're going around the outside of Abbey. And now, 
As we go down towards farm, we're gonna quickly switch out to the inside, hold them back. Goes down our inside, we break early, do the old switch back and go round the outside of Holkenberg. We've gained plenty of places at the start. Now we're on the back of Fernando of Lance Stroll. Now of Fernando Alonso. And we're going to try and go round the outside of Alonso into Brooklyn's. Couldn't do it. Now can we try and set him up for Lafayette? But that were not happening. And three tops we went. Holkenberg tried to overtake the three bangers and make it. That was not happening. And can we get up to the Aston Martin? This is George, Lando and Alonso have a lovely little battle that we can get nowhere near as there's George down the inside of Lando Norris. He's now side by side and Alonso ready to bounce like he always is. Lando holds him out to dry around the outside as we try and get in somewhere near this, this battle. This is George up the Wellington Straits as Fernando Alonso. There he is up the inside of George Russell. As now Alonso tries to hold it all the way around the outside of left field. Has to back out of that. And this is the close we've got. We can see us in the background there. We have gained quite a bit there to Fernando Alonso. Here comes George again though to the inside of Lando Norris. That will be the outside for Stowe, around the outside of Stowe, tries to go George Russell. And he has to back out of it. Lando stays ahead. Lando makes it down McLaren. Very, very wide indeed. It's lap three now. Hamilton doing what he does best. Leading the Grand Prix. As now this is George once again. Up the outside of Lando. This time he's dropped down. And he's been mugged. By Alonso as well. Alonso's on the double toe. Alonso's up the inside of George. And Alonso has done both of the British drivers there. And it's, it's a big clock up. Big clock up by George Russell there. Just under the timing tower. And Alonso is through and can Fernando get away from these two? The answer was no. As George got a great exit off the left field and side by side through Cops corner. There you go, and George looks to have got the position back, and he has. And Alonso, not having any of that, is going to try and hold it all the way round the outside of Stowe. George fends him off. As now, Lando tried to get the job done, as we couldn't keep up with them three, and fell back into Lando's teammate, Oscar Piastri, and also the Williams of Alex Albon. Just didn't have the pace for those three in front. We could see it, the battle. I really wanted to be part of it, but we just couldn't. As Albon goes to the inside of Piastri, through Cobb's corner, they're now side by side. Both of them keep it pinned. Three maggots, three Beckets. Albon backs out of that one, and Piastri stays ahead. Allows us to get away a little bit, but not for very long. Lamp. Nine now, Piastri right on the back of us, tried to go to the inside. That is not happening. We've run wide though as Stowe, and Piastri's on the outside, but he can't get the job done. It's now through Magnus and Beckers. This is Fittipaldi, as Fittipaldi slows down. No, it's not another mechanic, literally, surely not, because it is not, because he has a puncher. Front right puncher and Pirelli maybe having 2013 flashbacks is just keep it going. Fittipaldi, can he? He's got one corner to go as he's heading straight into the pits, of course he is. But if he's going to go anywhere, you want it to go round about there, not that far to the pits, but it has ruined his race. Unfortunately for him, after a very good Canada as there's floating tyres for some reason, after a very good Canada for Fittipaldi, it's going to be a long race left now, as we've gone wide again at Cops and Piastri for an unbelievable launches, nearly contact going through Maggot's hair. 
Yeah, actually, yeah, the fact that I had that in the first that would have been a big crash. This is George Russell. Engine has popped. That Mercedes engine has popped. As now, Piastri tries to go to her outside. As it's game over for George after the battle with Lando and Alonso. Piastri, we keep him behind. Now they lap 11. We're really struggling on these soft tyres. As we go wide, we nearly dropped it about three times there. Trying to get out of the village and the loop. And now, this is Piastri. Got a great exit. Tries to go about inside. And he can't. We hold around the outside. Albon is still there. Through left field we go. We try and go a bit wider. Square off the corner. Get a good exit. But it looks like Piastri has got a better one. As we go over. Stay the race man. Piastri. Piastri's going to the side of us. Piastri's put us in the wall of cops. And that is a big crash. Let's get Piastri. What are you doing? The gap was closing. There wasn't a gap. You'll never ever go around my outside from that angle at cops. What are you doing? He's ripped off his front wing. We've ripped off half of our front wing. And we're just glad to still be going. That was a big, big impact with the wall. As now we go into the pit and we're squeezed past the Alpha Tauri of Sonoda. Going into the pits. Very cheeky there. But it's going to be a long pit stop for us now. Safety car for the very first time as well in this career mode. Our first safety car by what could have been a very, very bad crash for us. We're lucky to still be going in the race. But we're going to go on to the mediums. So we're still going to do our normal strategy because we're meant to pit around now anyway. But we have lost a lot of time, a lot of positions. Why we have to put on a new front wing. We come out just ahead of Logan Sargent. We are behind Piastri. And you bet we're hunting him down for the rest of this race. Whatever happens, he will not beat us in this race. As this is the safety car then behind us. We are at the back of it pretty much. Behind the safety car, you can see he's there. We are right at the back. This is a replay then of what happened. As we're going over, taking our normal racing line and Piastri just wipes us out in a very big incident there, big crash. I don't know how our suspension has dealt with that, but we've got away with one there. This is Piastri's point of view. Fair play, he got a good launch off of left field, but look, the gap's going closing all the time. He has to back out of it there. That's his fault. You see it by Alpine's point of view. He's not even on the track. And he's still trying to go around the outside. That's 100% Piastri's fault in my opinion. But on lap 15, we are back racing here at Silverstone. We've just 11 laps to go. An 11 lap sprint to try and recover this shocking weekend that it's turned into for us. First off though, the heart of Falkenberg down the inside. That box is ticked. Next up is is Stroll and then it is Piastri. We're on the back of Piastri as Stroll overtook him and down the inside of Piastri we go at Brooklyn's. I told you he wasn't beating me today after that incident. It's now Piastri though, he's trying, he's nearly done it again! The power inside, tries to go that time, he realises he needs to back out. But we're now side by side, three Magus and Beckett, Piastri's ahead, we're back ahead. Piastri, nearly back ahead, we're squeezing right into the apex of Chapel. And he has to back out of that one. And now in front of us, this is Stroll and Sonoda, side by side, three, three cops. Stroll gets the job done on Sonoda, three Magus and Beckers now, we've closed the gap. Sonoda not having that though, Sonoda gonna try and go to the inside of Stowe, but it's a big lock up, Stroll locks up. And Sonoda's gone through, we've gone through, and look how far back Lance Stroll has dropped then in this race 
after that incident. Round the final corner we go. On to lap 22 and we get the job done on Tsunoda. We dive bomb into village but it cuts us back. We send him wide all the way round and we are up another position. But Lewis Hamilton is going to round club for one final time to make it a ninth British Grand Prix win and back to back wins with Canada. Some may say it should be three wins in a row after being denied on the final lap back in Spain. It's Sainz P2, Perez P3 and we are going to come home okay, for a pretty lonely P13. Plenty of action then here in Silverstone, a memorable race and an impressive victory. And talk to me, what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. So that's been your British Grand Prix then for season one. What a race it turned out to be in the end. But Lewis Hamilton wins from Sainz from Perez. Piastri putting us in the wall. Let me know what you think. But to me, that's 100% Piastri. Very big crash and we were lucky to continue as well. Only with a bit of front wing damage there. And our first safety car for career mode. Obviously we're finished down in 13th. Also poor weekend for Fittipaldi. He never really managed to recover after that puncture. So after it all went so right last time out in Canada. It's all gone very, very wrong here at Silverstone. And the first time since race two in Baku that we haven't finished in the points. A run of three consecutive seventh places is done. Max Verstappen now has a 14 point gap at the top of the table with Hamilton, Sainz, and George Russell all level on 95 points. We're also still where we were in the drivers as well on 16 points and sixth in the constructors championship that's been your british grand prix then not the home grand prix i wanted but a dramatic one we head to belgium next for our second sprint race of the season and career mode and that will be the final race of the season before the summer break and i'll see you in spa goodbye